What he did, and it's what you do, Al, and Bob Costas on yesterday's show actually pointed that out, mentioning you having the ability to, and it sounds so simple. It sounds so simple, but it's not. Um, and that's what I think he was terrific at, and you are as well, is that you take the the nuanced and difficult and make it seem natural and simple. Um, that he used his voice, the inflection of his voice, and the rising of his voice in describing the action. So the action, um, a, a shocking moment. I mean, the perfect example was Buckner. You know, it's by the bag, and right. it gets by Buckner. Here comes Knight, and the Mets win it. How simple is that? I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. And then you hear the crowd, and then he would let the crowd tell the story and then come in with a line um, and come in with a line. You know, the the impossibles and a year of where, you, you know, Improbable. the improper, right, you, you, you know, the, all of the iconic lines. He would just come in, um, a madhouse at Candlestick. Right. It, 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 unbelievable how he would do those sorts of things. Oh. Well, he and I, you know, we actually talked about what you are talking about right now about you know how you get to you know, how you how you, how you put a coda on something, and you know you brought up that line. I mean, the, the, his line after Kirk Gibson's home run in 1988. I mean, he's not supposed to play. Hobbles to the plate as a pinch hitter. You know, the, 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 I'm sure Tommy Lasorda is hoping he, he can maybe draw a walk and send a pinch runner in, and then he hits a home run. And to win the game, which was just astonishing, and and you know Vinny's call was perfect, of course, and as you say, he let the crowd roar for just a second, and then per- he put the, the the perfect exclamation point on it in the year. Of course, that was a crazy year for the Dodgers. You had Hershiser with that long streak, uh, <laughs> scoreless innings, and a lot of other crazy stuff that went on. And he and he said, you know, in in the year in in the year that's been so improbable. The impossible has happened. I mean, that summed it up perfectly. That's 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 the greatest, as I say, coda maybe I've ever heard. It was just fantastic. So he had the ability to it. And in our, I remember having a couple of conversations with Vinny over the years. A lot of it is you 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 got to let it come from your heart. In a way, you're seeing something, but then it's got to be you know what you feel. It's it's um, it's it's in your your bones. Uh, and I think, you know, he was very fortunate and I've been unbelievably lucky to in certain moments, you know, when you can really screw it up hmm. instead, you, you, you kind of make it, you know, iconic in a way. And Vinny had so many of those, the Koufax perfect game, Gibson's home run, the Dodgers winning the world series in 1955. There was just a simplicity to it, but also an elegance. And a lot of it comes from, from you, from, from, from what you're seeing, what your eyes are seeing, and how it's being, you know, transmitted to your heart, and then out of your mouth, and um, <laughs> there's there's a lot of there's an element of luck involved in it. But again, it, it's a lot about the humanity of a person and what he sees. And you know, Vinny was able to to sum it up because he, he you know, he read the room. He read the room as well as anybody in the history of the business. Al Michaels here, a couple more minutes left with him uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. So, I mean, we've been cycling su- through some photographs while you've been talking, and there's one where you're on the stage. looks like it's Bob Miller uh, up there mm-hmm. as well. Vin's winning an award. There's Costas, Steve Sachs, Brent Musburger up, mm-hmm. on, uh, up on the stage right there. Um, right. What, what, and I know you probably did a lot of these dinners. There was one honoring you, uh, actually, as a, a broadcaster. I was there. Uh, at the Southern Cal, it was an award here in Southern California, um, and Vin was there for you. What was a, what was it like for you? I've never asked you this. So I might as well ask you here in front of everybody. What's it like to just you and Vin Scully just chit chat? You know, what was that like? Well, I mean, when I got that honor from uh, I think the Southern California Broadcasters Association, that's right. Man who, who put it together said, you know, what would you think about a dais? And I wanted you there, and I wanted you know my son there, and. Bob Miller, and then he said, uh, "What about Vinny?" I said, "Oh my God, of course!" <laughs> but I, I can't ask Vinny to do. I, I just can't. Right. I can't do this. And then he called me back and he said, "Vinny's coming." Oh, I mean, that was just <clears throat> that was too much for me because that was like, I mean, you grow up with somebody. Uh, he helps you form what you are. 
you know, certainly vocationally, obviously. And and then all, all of a sudden he's gonna he's gonna come over and 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 say a few words. And he was, and you remember he was so eloquent that that day as he always was. But that was uh, that was a thrill. I mean, look, every time I was with Vinny, it's like when you you know you if you're a musician and and you grow up idolizing a pianist or a singer and and uh, or an artist and uh, you're a, you know a kid and you love art and then you get into that world and then that person that person acknowledges you it, it never it never ceased to thrill me uh it was it was just fantastic when you know when Vinny came that day when I was asked to do certain things you know again that I'm seeing that uh, that final uh, opening day at Dodger Stadium. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was just one of the great thrills of my life to have anything to do with with Vinny. 